Tell me who's spooking who, who's spooking who, it's very Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. I can't tell if I'm in the frame. You hear a creak in the house. Don't let me in. They're out to get you, to capture you, to make you spellbound. I can never tell if this is... Like slightly on a wonk, a wonk. I said there, by the way, not a, not another word. Spellbound. You cannot run, and you cannot hide. Yeah, you gotta face it, baby. Things go bump in the night. You can't run, you can't hide. Ooh, that was a bit high. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is me. The All-Stars, I think they were called. It's me, all of the All-Stars. I just thought, imagine if that weren't filming when I put all that effort into that performance for you all. Imagine. I don't even know what's in here. I mean, I know there's brushes, but I don't know which ones. Oh, these might actually be useful today because I do need a clean brush. Oh, that one came straight off this little, little wand, I want to call it. I'm not sure what you call that. We're here once again. I am, um, I was like desperately racking my brains for some songs, one that are that I could sing to you, that were Halloween themed. And of course, All Stars Bump in the Night came into my head. I'm think I've got another one for next week, I think, that my boyfriend gave me, but I need to actually like learn how that goes. Also, it's quite a hard sing. Look at me, a singer. Oh, I always get pins and needles. I don't know why I decide to sit cross-legged. So today, we're here once again. You know the drill. It's October, it's Halloween month. I'm gonna put latex on my face and then cry about how bad it smells. My skin last week was shit as well from that latex, so I hope that you all appreciate this. I'm gonna do like a Bride of Frankenstein type of look, but I'm gonna try and make it a bit less like on the camp side and a bit more on the kind of gory side. Um, so we are doing the liquid latex again, um, which I'm not particularly excited about, but you know, needs must. We've got to make cool Halloween looks because it is that time of year. So what my idea is, is to kind of put like um so basically like the sort of scarring thing that i did last week around the eyes but like in bits on my face i'm gonna try and not get it near my nose because the itching on my nose last week when i tell you it, it burnt me a little bit inside i'm getting fucking wild with it i hope that you all enjoy watching me uh i think hopefully this week it'll be a bit easier because i'm i understand like how to work with the latex a bit better now um, I mean, I say that, but we'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm gonna put the latex onto something as well today. You know, so it doesn't like go everywhere like it did last week. But what shall I put it onto is the question. I think this, this little card will do the trick. It's not actually that hot outside today and I am like really, really hot. I don't know what's going on with me. My body temperature is just all over the bloody shop. You all know this about me. I think that like, do men go through the menopause? I'm not sure if they do or not, but like I'm really, really hot all the time. Maybe I should go to the doctors and see like what's going on with me. So yeah, I'm just doing the old, putting the latex on with the eyebrow brush because that's the only brush that I'm comfortable with absolutely ruining. I'm doing a bit of a longer sort of strip today just because I felt, oh, oh it came off. Falling at the first hurdle. Could only be here on this fucking channel, can it? Like the little pieces, they kept like coming off and like crinkling up in places. And I didn't enjoy that. So I thought, right, this week we're gonna do longer bits. I feel a bit more confident in this bit. The, the tasty bit I think today will be, I'm gonna paint my face green. I'm not gonna do my whole body it because, um, I mean, I just don't think that my bath can really handle that level. Oh God, it's really like, if you get close to your eye, that latex, it's very, um, a bit like you know when it makes your eye go right cold if i go blind for this then yes i do think that like the struggle part is going to come when i have to paint myself green um just because i've not already like mixed the foundation because like i never come prepared you know this um and i need to kind of make a color because i don't want to the last time that i painted myself green for the contour i used black I don't want to do that this time. I want to like actually try and do shades of green. Cause like when you contour, you're doing shades of skin tone, aren't you? Pretty girls, haha. <laughs> it still smells real bad. I think it is 
the bandage you know that stinks. Which seems strange because you would think that bandage wouldn't have a smell because surely like it should be like very sanitary but it's not. Oh that liquid latex went right into where I've just shaved. Ow. Cool. So I think that that looks kind of like where I want it to be um, at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix the um, the foundation with the green. So it's basically an eyeshadow that I'm using. Um, it's an old give face one because like I've had these makeup palettes I think for about like maybe three years, maybe two, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that like makeup goes off after a while. I'm not too sure about like kind of putting it too close to my eyes now. Um, so I thought I'd put it all over my skin. So you could be here for a while. I'm gonna wear like a turtleneck, I think. Just so that Bride Frankenstein wears a turtleneck. Who's gonna really challenge you on that? Hopefully nobody. Oh, there we go. She's out, she's out and about. I think this might actually be coming to an end. Might this awful foundation, you know? I'm using a Pyrex jug because I don't have a makeup palette. Like, is it called a palette? You know, like what artists use where they have like the little board and they mix shit on it. I don't have one of those. I was gonna use a plate and then I thought it's quite likely that if I do, then I'm gonna end up like tossing it everywhere. I think I'm gonna use this like lime green looking color. Although should I use, have I got any other greens actually? In any of these palettes? Nope. Oh yeah, this green's in here. Oh, I might use this green actually. So what I'm gonna do is really get that shit out of here. These really did serve me well for a time, but they're a bit old now and I'm a bit too scared to kind of end up with anything going on in my eyes. So I'm gonna use this brush that I've been using for like the white face paint and just kind of mix it all up. Does that look like a nice green? Would the Bride of Frankenstein be that colour green? I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell in it until it's like on your skin. It looks a bit too camouflaged to me, does that? I think I'm gonna dig this guy out as well and pop that in there. Most people would just not be so cheap and buy some green face paint, but I don't need it like in my life, do I? So why would I do that? You know, like when you're a kid and you like try and make potions out of shampoo and stuff in the bathroom. That's what I feel like right now. I think that's a good green. It doesn't appear to be wanting to cover the bandage too much. So that's not ideal. Yeah, my whole thing is that like, I want it to look kind of, got, I look like the mask. I don't even know what he says in the mask. I just know of the mask. I don't think I ever watched it. I used to be, like, I'm actually terrified of like, a lot of things. Not so, like, not the mask now as an adult. But, like, as a child, I would have shit myself if I watched that film. I wouldn't have been happy about it. So what have you all been up to today? Oh, that went right in my ear, I'll did that. I think I'll try defying gravity. Sometimes as an adult, I do look at myself and I think, what the fuck are you doing? I'm enjoying myself and that's the main thing, isn't it? If you want to be Frankenstein, you've got to go for it. Achieve your dreams, kids. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and like darken up the bits that are meant to look like scarring. Oh gosh. Let's put in a little bit of black as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and texture. My mum always felt right sorry for Frankenstein, you know. She used to always be like, oh, it's so sad, like he's just misunderstood. I do kind of get that to be fair. I mean, I don't know about the original because I've never seen it, but I know the Van Helsing version. Um, and it seems like he just like wants to live and everybody hates him. And that seems very sad to me. I like a green mystique. I love that character. She's cool as fuck out, isn't she? I don't know if this is quite the right colour green to be using for the highlight, but we're doing it. So I have this vision in my head that for my eyebrows, because like she's meant to be made out of different people, isn't she? So I thought like I could do one really high and then one kind of like, you know, like just like a fashion brow that's kind of more, more geared to like current time. So like one kind of looks like maybe like a 90s brow and then one looks like a more current brow. Um, I think I'm gonna do the eye look kind of similar across both because like this is like something that would already be there in it. Whereas like my eyes is like I'm putting makeup on if I am the Bride of Frankenstein. Is that right? I think that's right. So that's what we're gonna do. This eyebrow's really lifting, isn't it? She's saying hello. 
Why am I green today? Do I look sexy to you? <laughs> no? <laughs> what do you think? Like a flower. Like a flower? Like a pea. <laughs> I don't know, like a flower? Like a plant, I don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. I can. What? I was trying to do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm really sad because I'm going to have to do my brushes, like, you know, clean them. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do that. I suppose they will all be green now, I Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my partner, telling me that I look like a flower. I sometimes wonder, like, what he must think, you know, when I'm just like... Every weekend I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to go up and do some stuff for for YouTube now and then I'll come down and I'll be fucking green. You know what? That's what you get for marrying an artist. Piss artist, not like. Right, so now I just need to put on my eyeliner and then I need to put on some lashes as well. Um, and then I think we should be ready to like go on to lips. What an unbelievably attractive green woman I am. Not for everybody being green, but it certainly is for me. You should see like what's going on down here. It's like hell on earth. I'm not going to show you because I'm a bit ashamed of myself, if I'm honest. She's a sparkly dead lady. I mean, if somebody were going to eat your brain in a dark alley, you want it to be this last one, you really. I know, I'm not really actually sure if the Bride of Frankenstein eats brains. And I think that's zombies, isn't it? I'm not sure that if I were to have my time again, I would put on that lime green that I put on initially for the highlighter. Thin, villainous lips. Right, I don't like this red on me, so I think I'm gonna have to move into maybe like a peach, not a peach, maybe like a plum colour. Nothing's ever easy when I'm doing my makeup. She's been to, um, to her injector as Mrs. Frankenstein. I think I'm gonna put like a little bit of blood, just like kind of dot it. Oh, that was quite cool, actually. I mean, I don't know why she'd be bleeding because she is made up of the dead, isn't she? So I guess they not really have much left in them, but... My Bride of Frankenstein is bleeding. I just thought, imagine if this weren't recording and I have to fucking paint myself green all over again. Oh, I'd be livid. So my final thing that I've decided to do is to... So I've got these rivets and um, these are from the bra that I wore like ages ago, you know, when I, um, when it was Pride and I had my riveted bra on that weighed about 80 fucking stone. That's what these are from. And I thought like I could like, you know, kind of put them in little bits so it looks like my face has been bolted together. Could I use latex or do you think I should use nail glue? Not nail glue, eyelash glue. Uh... I think maybe eyelash glue is gonna be the better thing to use, which is a bit concerning because my eyelash glue is black. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on my um, turtleneck thing and I'm gonna put on my wig and then I'll be RB. I just realized that putting on the turtleneck after putting on these little rivets isn't gonna be ideal, is it? So I might have to reapply those as well. So I might be longer than usual, but you won't be able to tell because of the magic of editing. Um, but yeah, I'll be Abby anyway. See you soon. Wish me luck. I mean, I absolutely love this wig. I styled this today. And I'm actually quite happy with it. Cool, so I'm back. Please just ignore the fact that these are my skin colour. I'm gonna get some gloves, I think, when I do the photos. Or maybe I'll just, um, you know, drag and drop the colour from here onto my hands. Um, so it looks like I actually bothered to paint my hands. The only thing about this wig that I'm not actually very happy about is that I did sew in some like white blonde extensions to try and make it a bit more Bride of Frankenstein and they're not really reading that well, so that's not ideal. But apart from that, I think I look pretty fucking cool. I've got to tell you, I'm actually really happy with this. Um, so I think like the eyebrows were like a nice little touch. And I also think that like it's quite good that they're kind of, they're not too much apart from each other as well so like it kind of nods to the fact that like you know i'm meant to be made out of lots of people i'm gonna keep my hands down here because i feel like it's ruining the illusion 
Um, but my nose is now obviously really itchy because I've said that I'm going to put my hands down here. So I'm going to have to itch that up there with. Um, I'm also really happy with like how the little rivets and stuff look on my face. I can't not use my hands. I'm a hand talker apparently. I think I do look quite glamorous as well. And I kind of look a little bit like 60s as well. Like when I put this on, I was like, so I look like I'm about to do the rich man's fruit. And I was like, I have the perfect earrings for this. So that's why I've got these on. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment, turn on notifications as well, because apparently that's like important. Um, and yeah, just all that good stuff. If you could support me, that would be wonderful. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, I look beautiful. So um, that's all that really matters here. So yeah, and as always, my social media will just be on at the end. It is just Domino Official on everything. So TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, it's Domino Official one I don't know why I couldn't get that username on there as well, but I couldn't. So it's Domino Official one if you want to follow me on there. Um, and yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I shall see you all very soon. Bye. Look at my hands that aren't green.